Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about... OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Reverse. Reverse, exactly. Ta Uno card. Exa facts. All right, guys, let's get into it. Hey, All we right. are back, guys. Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. That's a new intro, guys. We're actually going to make another uh, adjustment to it. Um, we're, 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 I would say we're like 90%, well, sorry, like 99% done with that intro, the nighttime intro. And then we got some new outros that we got. Uh, shout out to our boy, uh, Roberto Velez, our editor. Firework, that makes, man. That makes the, uh, those intros. Um, so, okay, guys, quick announcements. Uh, Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, uh, where you guys can find all the exclusive behind-the-scenes content. We're, you know, basically... When you see us kick out girls like the other night, uh, it's actually kind of funny. One of the girls sends a message after saying, like, yo, y'all wrong for this. And I was like, we actually put the clip up today from those three girls we kicked out. Mm. One of them sends a DM saying, oh, y'all wrong for this. And I was like, bro, if you guys weren't being so disrespectful, number one, I wouldn't have kicked you out. And then number two, she was like saying, that's why none of y'all niggas get bitches. Y'all are losers, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, whatever. You made yourself look stupid, bro. Because you were the one, like, talking shit, whatever, and then you even try to walk back in, so it, it is what it is. But anyway, if you guys want to see the ratchetness in 4K, go ahead and check it out on Patreon.com. Full videos Fresh on Fit. Patreon. Um, but besides stupid drama like that, guys, we also have a weekly Zoom call where we talk about real estate, getting girls, social media, um, cars, everything, guys. We literally talk credit anything scores. about self-improvement, credit score, money, anything that has to do with male self-improvement, we talk about it on those Zoom calls. It's open Q&A format. We send an invite out. All the guys come in, they ask questions. We go for about one to two hours, depending on how many questions we get. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, that's uh, what, what, oh, and then also we answer questions on there. Uh, when you send us a video, we send a response, which we're going to do that probably today, guys, answer some of those questions. I know we haven't had a Zoom call uh, in, in a little bit because um, all the craziness, but we are going to get back uh, to doing what we got to do here. We're going back to regular schedule programming, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, anything else on Patreon? Uh, pretty much it man okay so yes yeah. spotify google we're, okay guys we're on spotify google and apple podcast we're also on every other platform that you guys listen to podcasts on their audio uh just make sure you wear headphones bro because you might get fired right now we're public enemy number one for everybody the cancel culture everybody's coming after us so it is what it is so don't let people go in there and say oh you listen to those jerks and those messages fresh and free. Oh, no, no. one guy even got in trouble just for them seeing it on his youtube on his on his phone bro listening to us and they couldn't even hear anything so just be careful man uh, we live in a very feels before real society and we talk about a lot of uncomfortable truths. So always wear headphones guys. And, uh, whatever you do, if you work for Lyft or Uber, don't play our music out loud or sorry, our, our podcast out loud for your passenger, uh, get the merch, man. Fresh fit podcast store.com guys, where you can get, uh, all the gear. You can get the hoodies, fresh fit podcast, hoodies, t-shirts. Um, you can also get the, for example, shirts. I feel like we just got another shirt. Uh, who hurt you? Who hurt you? So, yeah, man. Anytime you hear a girl say, uh, I feel like merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then also, uh, go ahead. Guys, Vlog Channel. For, so, from behind the scenes as well, my life, Chris, Trey, and Myron, you can see us behind the scenes when we travel, some of our dates, and also the craziness before the Frank Castles. Yep, absolutely. And then, uh, guys, twitch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast. Thank you to all the Twitch guys out there, bro. You guys have been unwavering in support. Uh, during this time, it's almost as if like nothing happened on Twitch. <laughs> shout out to Twitch, man. So shout out to Twitch, bro. That's the beauty of being on uh, another platform. And then, guys, uh, Trey, guys, Trey's coming back next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the Trey talks okay. sports, man. Yeah, man. Pastor I, Trey in the house. I spoke to him. He's he's uh, he's pretty much uh, he's doing a lot better. Uh, he's getting stronger day by day. He sees the craziness that's going on, uh, but he will be back on Thursday. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Next Tuesday, and uh, it's gonna be great, man. We're gonna be happy to have him, as you guys know. We haven't had him for almost two weeks now, and 
yeah, I mean, we miss the guy, man. For you guys that don't know, Trey is a critical part of like what we do as far as strategy and everything else like that. Yeah, he is. So he would have been really helpful in this case. But hey, man, he just got sick, really, really sick. So uh, he's back and he's going to be good next week. So um, for any ideas for now, just DM me at Unplug Fit with three T's. And then uh, Chris? Three of them. Uh, three of them. And ladies, um, if you, if you want to come on the show, send me a DM at Aaron C. Poxon. Um, Instagram, make sure that if you're flying out from any other state or country um, and you have a boyfriend or husband, uh, bring him too. And uh, make sure your page on Instagram is not private so I can see your photos because um, I want to protect you from the internet if any other case, all right? Yeah. So let's get it. Yeah, you know what's funny, bro? I saw some more comments. Someone said that uh, Chris sounds like he has cinnamon in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's what it is. Wait, I thought it was peanut butter. Yeah, but yeah, I, they always come up with things that like fuck up with fuck with your, the way you speak, which is hilarious. Hey man, I can't talk, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's probably just my cool nose. I can't say nothing either. So uh, uh, yeah. and that's not what else said that you sound like you burnt your tongue, which is also funny as hell. Yeah, well, you uh Freshman Podcast on Instagram, guys. Check us out over there where you guys could um, you know, see all the updates, everything else like that. Stories, you know, man. stories. Uh anytime we got a group of girls that we're gonna do a show, guys. We always post um, them right before the show. We know it, it, it's like a, we do it for you guys, really, to be honest. So you guys can find all the girls because I know some of you guys want to send your DMs and or dick pics or shoot your shots. Go so, ahead. Yeah, and so and guys, Marion's a sick. He just woke up. So guys, relax in the chat. So. Oh, they said. Him, oh, no, no, no. Yes. Guys, I literally just woke up 20 minutes ago. Like, li literally, like what? Honey, I woke up at 645. Honey and lime, PM. man. The, yeah. Uh, Caribbean remedy. Yeah, no, no, no. My voice is fine. I'm I, sorry. Well, I'm good, guys. It's just that I just woke up. So, OK, let's hit some of uh, let's hit some of these super chats. Before guys, only fans thank you. Debacle. Yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support, bro. We we fucking love you guys, man. Bro, man. Like, <laughs> I can't even put into words the appreciation I have for you, fucking guys, bro. Like, everyone came at us, and the mods, the supporters, you guys fucking doubled down and supported us even, even more. more. You know what I'm saying? And I've I've always said it. You know. If you want to see how much people really love you, see if they're willing to spend money on you. Were they w willing to put their money in the fact that you guys day in and day out put your money back into us? I will never fucking let you guys down. Regardless of the hate, whatever it is, I will never fucking let you guys down, bro. Yep. You guys are the motivation of why I go to the gym after a, a, a full day of shows, no matter how tired I am. Because I think to myself, these guys get inspired by me. How the fuck am I not going to do when I'm like what I'm supposed to do regardless of how I feel? Like these guys depend on us to come out with content as uh, potential role models to give you guys inspiration. We're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nope. But uh, we're definitely trying to self-improve along with you guys. When I say number one male self-improvement channel, that's not because we're the ones like just teaching you guys how to self-improve. You guys are teaching us to self-improve too. That's the fact. That's the truth. We're all self-improving together, bro. And all look, of us. Life is about mistakes, man. You're going to make mistakes when you go up to the top. When you're on your path and like, look, man, if you let bring you down and you stay down, then you've lost. But if you keep going, you got this, bro. Fall down seven times, stand up eight. Yep. So thank you guys so much. I just want to put that out there that you guys are really like fucking uh, you guys are literally the coal in the furnace that keeps it burning, bro. Without you guys, that furnace would have been dead a long time ago. Yep. So thank you, man. Um, All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Williams, five dollars. I just got back from Puerto Rico. Next trip, Colombia. First, do you recommend Medellin or Cal? I heard Bogota is a little stale. Shout out to uh, motherfucker Poxon. Hey, Milk Williams. Out, man. Honestly, man, Medellin was a blast, man. Honestly, bro, I would go there first and then venture to Cali, then Bogota. But Medellin definitely is more, I want to say, tourist friendly. So mm. I'll go to El Poblado. That's just like that's like the tourist area there, and then from there you could venture out uh, by yourself. You know what, bro? Real talk. We're gonna do this for y'all. We're going to bring our boy Casey on yeah. the show. Yeah. And we're going to do a full fucking breakdown of Colombia. Because there is no one else in this sector of the internet that knows more about Colombia than, than Casey. Bro, he Nobody. Goes, he goes twice every month yeah. to Colombia. And he, and he lived for the, he lived there full time for what, two years? Yeah, two years. So so we're going to do that for y'all because we've gotten a lot of questions about Colombia on Patreon, uh, Yo, uh, Super talk, Chats, everything. Colombia is full of guys from America all over the world. Yeah. They say, you know what? They're tired of the West. They're yeah. tired of dealing with the bull crap. Yeah. They got their money. They work online. They moved there. They enjoy life. Think about I, it. Your dollar, you're, you're you're a king over there, bro. And I, like, girls I, are more submissive. They're bad. Now, that being said, you still need game because you don't want to get finesse, but it's a lot easier than, than you know, the States. I, I would say this, man, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think Colombia is probably the number one expatriate country for, for Americans, bro, for guys. Probably at this point. Like, like uh, Colombia and Thailand is between those two. Maybe Brazil even, but 
At first, it was a secret, but now everyone knows about Columbia. Yeah, now. yeah, that's like a thing now. Like we, hell, there's YouTube channels out there dedicated to teaching guys to run game and just Colombia in itself. So, so my boy, I am Marwa. He gave me a phone call about this whole, you know, drama, whatever. Too was like, yo, keep head strong. Uh -huh. He did a full video on Colombia as well. I am Marwa. Check him out. I can support the other of the channel too. Yeah, but we'll we'll bring Casey in, guys, so you guys can actually ask someone real time. You know everything from how to get an apartment, how to uh how to deal with the girls, where to go, where how not to, to find go, them, how to find them, uh everything guys so he'll 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 do that because this dude is <laughs> he's basically colombian he's, he's a redhead white guy but he and, uh and if you bought a course you would know from instagram how to get girls from colombia as well from yeah here. exactly so uh botman five dollars sonia career 304 i ain't never getting married after hearing this <laughs> Keep it on, oh, so the screen. all right uh raccoon 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 uh let's go kings staying up after work to watch this greetings from sweden hey shout out to sweden, shout man. sweden man yo crazy love bro and then uh christopher uh Amoli, five bucks i never doubted y'all once keep up the good content. Thank you Thanks, so bro. much, man. Uh, Cameron, you sick? Uh, my, no, 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 guys. I just woke up. So uh, this is what happens when you're a vampire like myself. Because uh, you guys ask all the time, when do you sleep? I sleep all day pretty much. I ain't going to lie, guys. Yeah, this nigga does not go to sleep, bro. Um, okay. Uh, Cozy Jake. Yep. Five but, bucks. Banning OnlyFans now seems like a market employee now. I fell for it. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and, and we're going to break that down. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, 20 bucks. Uh, let's, see let's see here. here. Uh, sorry, boys. I was one of the very first subscribers to the show, but I got to depart until you guys make a policy to screen out super chats to insult guests simply on how they look. Make fun of their stupid ideas, not their looks. No, I get over, man. No, yeah, I mean, come right. on, Sherlock, bro. Like The chat is undefeated, bro. Yeah, the chat is going to say what gonna the chat's going to say. That's they what make, makes... They make fun of us? Yeah, they make fun of us. Bro, like, it's what it is, man. Like, Sherlock, bro, you got you to gotta ease up a bit, my friend. Like, the girls know... Because, guys, keep in mind, let me tell you what, what, before the show what happens. <laughs> I warn all the girls prior to the show that the chat is going to roast them. Yeah, we tell them. They know full and well they're going to get roasted, guys. That Like, sometimes they get an emotional response or whatever. But make no mistake about it. They know. I told all the girls last night, especially Pearl, hey, they're going to roast you on the show. And she knew it. And she, they still want to come on. So come on, Sherlock. Like, line up a little bit. And honestly, Trust me, you know, it's not uh, that big a deal. stop the gap. She had a great time, man. Yeah, yeah she did. Man. She did. She, she even took, I said after, stop the gap. And I was like, oh, you're funny. And, and y'all should, should know already but from the past week alone, people do anything for, for clout, bro. Like, people will do anything. I mean, getting made fun of on a, on a channel is, is the least. Of, of a lot of people's worries, man. Shout out to in the chat, our boy Goofy Tube, so, man. It's tough out here, bro. Yeah, shout facts, out Goofy Tube in the chat. Shout out to Goofy Tube, but uh, but yeah, Sherlock, man, don't worry about it, bro. Yeah, that, they they knew, and she, pros a good sport. All the girls were good sports. Official SBJ, ten dollars. Great show last night, Myron. We see you being way more patient with girls on the show and bringing out Frank Castle. Nothing you can do when they are focused on emotion. In fact, Don DeMarco for y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. I'll strike five bucks. If you guys really want to see emotion versus reason, check out the clip from the other day with uh, from that episode when I debated those two lesbians. Bro. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, my my head hurts still. I'll strike five dollars. Have people left OF already? Will they go back? Was this a mistake or a publicity stunt? Find out soon. We'll talk about that soon on the next episode of Fresh Michael, and Pit Fit Z. Michael uh, uh, five bucks, likes are free. Thank you guys Thank so you. much, guys. Please do us a favor. Before we even started the show, every like a hundred plus people decided to just dislike the video. So do us a huge solid, guys, and let's like you know push some of that hate out by by fixing the ratio and liking the video for us, guys. Um, you know, obviously engagement is engagement whether you dislike the video or not. But you know, we do what we can. So please like the video, guys. Um, okay, uh, Theo B, been a ninja watcher for a minute, but I had to show my support. Watching all these people plotting on your downfall makes me even more com committed to Fresh and Fit. Fuck the haters. No fucking oxygen. Keep grinding. Thank yes, you sir. so much, Thanks, man. Bro. Yo, and real talk, guys, to all the ninja watchers out there, bro, if you're a fucking ninja watcher, subscribe to the channel. There's, you know, if you guys enjoy us putting the masks on and doing all the stupid shit that we do, blah, 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 we need you guys now more than ever, man. And stop being a ninja watcher. Actually, and subscribe to the channel. If you learn anything <laughs> off on the channel, if you learn anything A to Z, the smallest thing, and you appreciate it, man, like the video. That's all. Yeah, bro. Real talk. You know, it's it's funny, ha ha ha, when we had the ninja watchers before, but we need y'all help now. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video. M Harrison, thirty-five. Uh, fifty bucks. Uh, fifty-five year old in Arizona, old army army guy, eleven pounds. Uh, keep up the fire. Be safe. Stay healthy. Make sure to get rest all. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. That's awesome, Harrison. Um, Ke uh, Tevin uh, Thompson, 45. Respect to you guys for wearing uh, weathering the storm and sticking it through. Thank you we, so much. We never stopped. Zachari uh, Zacharias James, 
I never left because even if I don't agree with everything, y'all advice really helps guys out, not get finesse. But most BP simps don't understand. Thank you so much. There you go. So, uh, taking Hanma Myron's literally been the Punisher. Thanks for your service. If I may say so, by the way, pineapple is cute. Had to say it. Okay. Thank you so much. Edward Davis, your personal growth is the only thing that matters. You you own and write your story. No one else does. As long as you're willing to grow, I will support you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Edward. Leo B., Hey man, thank you. Thanks for everything you guys been doing. You guys inspired me to do better for myself and my family. Thank you, Leo. Uh, that's five bucks. And then uh, Ish. last one, Ish Salazar. Keep doing what you're doing. Your haters don't understand Miami. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Dom Marco. If, if, if you don't live in Miami, you won't understand it at all. So yeah. let's get into the. How many, do we have? Okay, four more. Uh, four more guys. I'm gonna read these, and then from this point forward, Chris. Uh, oh. Ten bucks up. Ten bucks and up. And it, uh, thank you guys so much for the support. All your for super real. chats will be shown. Uh, what, buy one BBL, get one free. I died laughing when a female coworker said, uh, "Amex workers sh should uh, unionize and go on strike." <laughs> oh, S workers, S yeah. workers, sex workers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kim son. Kim son. Remember the fans love y'all. These dudes are trying to gatekeep, but they can't stop the shine. We grow with y'all as men. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. We grow together, guys. Taboo smash five bucks, ladies. You're lying about getting pregnant. It's not new. Yep, it is. It God, don't even start get me started on that, bro. Bruh. The cap is crazy. I just showed you guys a little bit. Uh, Sham Shamir, Shamir Said. Said, uh, 10 bucks all the way from Great Britain. I know you guys said you won't cover any of the drama from such and such, but they just brought out a video showing your what? Uh, no, it's fine, guys. You gotta remember, right? They're gonna paint a narrative no matter what. So at this point, we're not responding any anymore. They got a phone number, they can call us if they want to do the, yeah, like... the fight. So, like we said. Here's our phone number. Give us a call. You got it. So yeah, like literally, yeah. Uh, pissed patriot, uh, new member. Thank you so much. All right, we're good. All cool. right, man. Uh, so we're gonna get on with the show today. So okay, guys. OnlyFans. Um, uh, yeah. let's pull up. We got an article for you guys here. We made a video about this with some with some yes. loyal FNF girls. Yes. Like a, what, a week ago. Uh, about a week yeah. ago. Yeah, last last, last Thursday. And we gave our predictions, man. And yeah, you, we were right, man. You, yeah, on, we on were right. Money. I call, yeah, we called it. So. Um, for some of you guys that don't know, earlier this uh, last week, I want to say probably right around last Thursday, last Wednesday, uh, OnlyFans made an announcement that they were going to move away from having any type of uh, spicy content, content that starts with a P that rhymes with orn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, they were going to have uh, basically they were going to get rid of it. Like you, it was they were trying to, and th this has kind of been in the works for for uh, what well, months now? Because I remember yeah. they originally announced it a while ago. Because uh, long story short, Cliff Notes. OnlyFans is looking to get more sponsors. Yeah. They're trying to go investors. a more clean route and get investors yeah. and and get some money. So uh, they were like, okay, let me, uh, you know, let's definitely like try to get rid of this this spicy content so that we can be more um, appealable to larger advertisers and make more money. So they said, all right, October first, we're going to get rid of it. And then now, apparently, they pushed the deadline back. Or uh, well, let's read the article. Let's read yeah. the article. Actually, at this point. They made it so big in the uh, article saying, that "Oh, they might not even get rid of it." Exactly. So they they were kind of wishy washy about it from the beginning, but we we talked about that last week as well. So here's an article here from People. Um, you know, sh show the first one from CNBC first, if you don't mind, Chris. Yeah, sure. We'll, sure. we'll just we'll do this one after. Um, but yeah, man, we called it, man. We said, "Hey, man, this is too much money for them to lose. They're not gonna do it." So okay, cool. Okay, so uh, this is from CNBC, guys. Um, only sans, uh, only, only fans says. says it received assurances from its banking partners that will allow the platform to continue allowing actual explicit content, which means, you know, spicy work. Yeah. The company last week announced plans to ban from Prawn October 1st, citing pressure from banks and payment companies. The decision drew condemnation from sex workers who largely helped, helped fuel the platform's success. Okay. Right? Uh, so people are outraging, like, oh, how can they do course, this to us? Make yeah. a lot of money from the platform. This is what, I, you know, my life depends on. So they were really mad. Yeah, of course. Um, um, I think okay, we'll we play this video. Yeah, one second. C can we? I I think, yeah, we can. We can just stop it. Copyright, no, no, nah, it's only a minute and a half, and we'll be able to we'll, we're right, reacting so, to it. Fair use, fair, fair use, fair yeah, use. fair use here, guys. Okay, so uh, we're gonna play play this uh, little, it's only a minute and a half, and then we're also gonna play another reaction as well for you guys. So, uh, okay. This week, OnlyFans doing a total 180, scrapping plans yeah, to man. ban sexually explicit material. After coming to a resolution with its bank partners, Investors. the decision yep. coming less than pause, a week after pause, its pause, original pause. announcement yeah. that the platform. Yeah. So this was obviously, as we talked about before, a huge um, a money thing. Like uh, OnlyFans was really concerned with their investors and everything else like that, mm -hmm. and having a clean image. So they probably got something. They got a crazy amount of pressure. Yeah. They they probably did the numbers. Yo, if we lose. 
X amount of X rated stars. We're going to lose this much money. Can yo, we're going to guys, we might crash. Will you guys let us keep doing the spicy content? And they said, you know what, fucking money. So the, money uh, talks. So yeah. do you think it was like a, uh, a market employee? Because um, soon as the day one it came out, I had a few girls DM me and said, hey, um, they, you know, who do OF OnlyFans, and um, they said, hey, uh, they got con contacted by the company and said that it wasn't gonna happen. So, yeah, actually, so they knew it was gonna happen, but they just left it out there on air. Yeah, J uh, Jimmy Smacks made, made a post about it because you know they he went to support and they said and Jimmy Smacks is a pretty popular uh, yeah. spicy star here in Miami, guys. And uh, basically, it wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They responded that it wasn't true in, in the support. So I don't know if there's miscommunication on both ends, but it just seems like this is kind of like I wish you watched it from the very beginning. Yeah. That being said, though, regarding the money aspect i mean you're gonna use the whole the whole portion of your income if you do this and look i get it you got investors but like that's your whole platform think about it the stigma like we said before only fans means s work you think about only fans you don't go in there to watch cooking <laughs> you really don't yeah facts. Um, so it's crazy bro so um all right chris can we go back and uh play it some more yeah so um but a, bu a bunch of creators sp spoke up uh, uh, about it on social media saying hey you know this is this is not fair blah 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 and i guess they decided to take action as well so Okay. Would be banning explicit content, and it received plenty of pushback from content creators and advocates who argued that the ban would yep, only drive such people. work underground, thus making it more dangerous. And it was so big. Uh, the company tweeting this pa morning that it had secured the. Yeah. No, it would not only drive it underground, it would drive it to their competition. Correction. That's really what it is. <laughs> because the thing is, is that people, there is a ridiculous amount of demand for spicy content yeah you know what i'm saying if you look at like the top websites in the world most of them are spicy content sites you know what i'm saying so actually the number one grossing um online entertainment right now is prawn yeah like, okay they, they make the most money bro yeah prawn. I, oh, see i didn't even i didn't even know yeah. that so that makes sense you know so it's not that they was going to get driven underground it's that only fans kind of realized yo our competition is going to destroy us you know what i'm saying so, uh, okay, let's uh, go back to that, Chris. Yep. Bear with us here, guys. I don't know why it's acting slow now. That's the tweet there. Yeah, and that's the tweet from OnlyFans. Here, can you enlarge it on our end, Chris? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I don't know why it's uh, only. So this is from the OnlyFans Twitter, guys, while that thing loads up. Thank you to everyone for making your voices heard. We have, oh, okay. Oh, Hello, man. Wait. Uh, smart on them for having a having that because business wise, man. Yeah. Let's check in on a Just story that forward. we have been following. This creators and advocates who argued that the ban would only drive such work underground, thus making it more dangerous. Uh, the company tweeting yeah, this morning right that it had secured the assurances necessary to support the quote diverse creator community and thus suspended the planned October first policy change uh john wow what a, what a walk back my, i guess the birthday. question is <laughs> has the damage already been done some users really saw this as a move of only fans quick, selling out yeah a lot of creators said you know what because of that that statement that, that they made we're leaving mm -hmm. and uh they kind of created like a rift between some creators and them and i get it you know uh, maybe they thought it would have been a better uh business wise choice but you know your your creators your uh your people in your platform they wanted to do that content so yeah. it's like you're it's like you're turning your back, I guess. Facts. Basically, let's uh let's finish this video up. Yep. Out there was a report that they were trying to raise money and had trouble doing so. So perhaps they wanted to clean up their image, and yes. of course, at the expense of their many users. Yeah, well, diverse creator community. I never heard diversity couched in quite <laughs> that way before. I, I guess it, it's broadening, but yeah, um, this is a tricky one it seems we talk about fintech a lot there's so many different ways to pay for things <laughs> outside the of the like traditional <laughs> channels but it appears that only fans nonetheless carl was it. having trouble okay yeah yeah so um so uh, we'll go here um so i'll read yeah. the article a little bit okay london for those of you that, that don't know um only fans is based in the, in UK. the uk um only fans said wednesday it has suspended plans to ban pornography in a stunning u-turn that came after a uh, fierce backlash from its <laughs> yo Users, uh, you a know, spokesperson. Yeah. You know when you're playing Uno and you're, you're about to win? Yeah. It says, reverse! <laughs> Only if I said, oh shit, this ain't working out. Reverse! Yeah, I've never played Uno, but I guess I get the reference. Uh, a spokesperson for the online subscription platform told CNBC that the purpose, uh, the proposed changes were no longer required. 
Due to banking partners, assurances that OnlyFans could support all genre of creators. The London-based firm last week announced plans to prohibit uh, Prawn from October 1, citing pressure from its banking partners. Guys, yeah, we're trying not to use that word because obviously it's flagged on YouTube. Thank you to everyone for making your voices heard. OnlyFans said in a tweet uh, Wednesday, uh, and this is from their account, their official account right here uh, on Twitter. Thank you for everyone for making your voices heard. We have secured assurances necessary to support our diverse creator community and have suspended the planned October 1st policy change. OnlyFans stands for inclusion, and we will continue to provide a home for all creators. Um, okay. Which is very funny that they're trying to save face now because they were really willing to abandon those people earlier. Yeah. Uh, OnlyFans' decision to block sexually explicit content uh, posts draw, drew so swift condemnation from sex workers who were in large part responsible for the platform's success and rely on it as a source of income. The sites let, let lets adults performers sell not safe for work content for subscription fees. Founded in 2016, OnlyFans has become a social media powerhouse thanks to its looser approach to overtly sexual material. With more than 130 million users, 2 million co content creators, and a reported 150 million in free cash flow last year, OnlyFans has the kind of numbers many startups can only dream of. OnlyFans attempted to rebrand itself as a platform for all types of creators recently, claiming it used by it is used by everyone from chefs to musicians. Celebrities like Cardi B and Bella Thorne have even joined as creators. Still, Prawn is by far the most popular category on the site. And guys, also, <laughs> let's not forget that Bella Thorne said that she was going to release, like, a spicy photo. And apparently, like, she didn't show what she was supposed to show. And she made a million dollars in a day. And everyone got really mad. And that caused a lot of backlash, too. You know? Um, and I mean, then they had a quick rise to fame, man. I, I'm going to just say this, man. If you're into business, if you're a creator, you have a quick rise to fame, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. Maybe this was a mistake that they made, you know? Yeah. Well, they've been on for a while, though. A lot of people don't know. Like, 20, 20, they were out since 2016, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. OnlyFans founder and CEO Tim Stokely said in an interview with the Financial Times this week, the firm was forced to ban such content after unfair treatment from banks. Okay. Um, and we discussed this on our show last time, too. Stokely name dropped JP Morgan, BNY Mellon, and Britain's MeToo Metro Bank as examples of lenders that have made it diff made life difficult for OnlyFans and sex workers. All three banks declined to comment when contacted by CNBC. See, we it's always the money, guys. It's always the money. Yeah. Um, there has been speculation that some other factors were at play. For instance, an uh, Exoy report said last week that the company was struggling to find external investment due to concern concerns with its hosting of adult content. Stokely denied this was the case, saying OnlyFans didn't make this policy change to make it easier to find investors. OnlyFans founder also slapped down the suggestion that MasterCard may have been behind the ban. The payments network the, the payments network is set to bring in tougher rules for adult merchants from October 1st, the same day OnlyFans was due to prohibit sexually explicit content. Stokely said the firm was already fully compliant with MasterCard's new rules and they had no bearing on its policy change. A MasterCard spokesperson told SCNBC the firm made no contact with OnlyFans related to its decision. They made this decision themselves, the MasterCard spokesman said. So um, a lot there, bro. A lot, a lot there going yeah. on. Um, we're going to play uh, – uh, uh, we'll hit some super chats real quick. Yeah. And then we're going to play uh, something from our boy uh, DJ Academics. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll break it down, and, and then, yeah. So, okay. All right. Uh, where are we at? Um, and, guys, thank you so much for the support. Uh, Scoot, uh, we got 10 bucks from uh, O Extra. Been watching y'all for a while, but this is my first super chat. I'm proud of how you got how you cleared everything up and ke keep pushing forward. Haters are going to hate. You did this motivation to grow stronger. Yeah, stronger. bro. Yeah, we, man. We just know who our friends are and our supporters are. That's all. Yep. While they hate, we create, man. And we're going to give you guys positive content. No no, uh, no negativity Roger, over here. Roger, rocking the merch, Roger. man. Hey, shout out to you, bro. 10 bucks. It's a war zone out here, gentlemen. Fresh and fit is the cheat code. Facts. Boom. Uh, Frank Sonoro, 70 bucks Canadian. Oh, Thank you so much, Frank, bro. Man. Welcome to you. Frank was here from the beginning, man. Show the Canada. Facts. One of the loyal supporters from day one. I became a tradesman installation first week uh, the on the job, and I love it. Left my uh, dead-end job for 16 years. The High Valley Academy really helped me get in the right decision, in the right direction. I'm sorry. Turning it back on, turning my back on Fresh Fit after what they did for me is bad karma. Uh, whatever to the haters, Fresh Fit. Shout out to you, Toast to you, man. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan R., appreciate y'all. 20 bucks. Appreciate y'all for being so dedicated to your followers. Y'all are putting out so much content. It, I can't even keep up anymore. Bro, Don DeMarco. I'm going to just keep it stuck, bro. There's nobody in this space working harder than, than us, bro. Yeah, that's We get our life life for this platform, bro. So Facts, facts. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, 20 bucks. I understand what you guys are saying, but many times after girls' looks are made fun of, 
Uh, the girl becomes timid and barely speaks in fear of being roasted again. I noticed this on many occasions. On many occasions, it ruins the quality of the show. Sherlock, I understand that, bro, but they know full and well yeah, they know that they're going to get roasted. Guys, before every single show, Chris gives them a speech. Like, uh, let me break this down for you guys. How, how guys, you methodical need to, we are you, about you need this. You watch a vlog, man. Yeah, watch a vlog, and you guys are going to see this. Uh, because Fresh actually documents everything. Like, Chris has a whole system. He goes down, he gets them, brings them upstairs. Like, uh, he, um, you know, they, they, they hang out, drink, whatever they want to do, go out on the balcony, take pictures, then do the rules, sign waivers. Then Chris literally every single time sits them down where he wants them, and then he breaks it down to them. Hey, this is how the show goes. This is what's going to happen. This is what we typically talk about. Don't get if you get triggered, please do this. Blah blah blah. And he warns them, yo, the chat is going to roast you. Then I come in and I tell them right before air, hey guys, just so you know, their chat is going to roast you. Don't take offense to it and don't look at the chat. Because we tell the girls purposely, don't look at the chat. Yeah. You guys, you guys hear Chris in the back. Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, stop looking at the chat. And you be seeing him getting mad and shit like that. He, he's back there going nuts, like hey. Bruh. real you know talk <laughs> to filter our chat, man. Y'all can be as free as possible, man. Yeah. Y'all, y'all the chat niggas, bro. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, bro. So real talk, yeah. tell them beforehand. The chat's with us, man. And real talk, the chat want. is a big reason why the show's so entertaining. Y'all yeah. are hilarious, bro. Yeah. And and guys, too. Um, some of the chats I filter out. So if it's so mean, I want to chat ahead of time. Hey guys, stop, stop, be funny. Don't be mean indirectly. Yeah. Tomas notice. So yeah, I mean, if I see a girl like she's like a clearly upset or uncomfortable, I, I can tell more or less because I'm I'm used to dealing with people. So um, if I see the girl like she's clearly uh, shaken by the chat or it's like too mean, bro, I'm like, you know what? Got chat, chill out. Last night, stop the gap. You know, I'm like, yo, chat, chill out and see what's going on. But she you know, she enjoyed it. Yeah, so, she, she was laughing. Dude, after the show, we went to the, uh, Blackbird. She was laughing. And shit. if it's stop in my story, gap. I was in a, with the, her in the elevator. I'm like, stop the gap. But she was making fun of it. So, guys, I mean, Sherlock, you'll be all right, man. Yeah, you'll yeah, be all right, bro. Like, the, the girls know, man. And, the, uh, yo, and you know what? I'll just put it out there. The, you know what? No, nah, let me not say that. Okay, Black Tiger 07, uh, 15 hours. Can you guys please do an episode on Indian men not being as desirable on 5'7", 200 pounds, working on that, but in check? But uh, with money and career car, girls in Australia don't like Indian slash Asian men, bro. That, yeah, yes, that, I mean, that's a fact. We've said it a million times that like if you're Asian, Asian or Asian, Indian, yeah, you you are literally. Yeah, it, it's it's the hardest race to be, man, to get the ladies, man. It's they, they um, the least desired race for men, Asian and um, Indian. And then for women, it's typically African-American. And there's, there's statistical data to show that, man. Unfortunately, yeah. people are biased. Uh, okay, Sherlock Holmes, twenty bucks. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, hey, Sherlock, thank you so much for your support, man. It's it's a valid critique. I understand, you know. Yeah. That they, they might be scared to t speak, but bro, we warned them a million times they're gonna get roasted. And Chris explicitly tells the women not to look at the chat. And you guys even hear Chris, hey, state ladies, stop looking at the chat. That's why when you guys say, damn, why is Chris calling them out so bad for staring at the screen? Screen. He's told. That's them. why he does that. Hey, we're honest. We all are honest with them. Yeah. Facts. Uh, Peter, Peter, ten dollars. Next time, Fresh's feet. Ne next time, <laughs> next time use Fresh's feet to stop the haters. haters. The strongest weapon on the show. Keep making content and ignore the cloud chasers. Hey, thank hey, you man. so much, bro. Whenever I need to pull them out, they're here. Yep, facts. Uh, okay, Royal Reese, thanks for being honest with your viewers. A man confronts the situation, not run away. Stay encouraged, Myron, bro. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so let's... Um, Okay, so uh, we got another video that we're going to play here. Yeah, so we we're going to play DJ, our boy DJ Academics. He had a pretty him, good reaction to this, and then me and Fresh will give you our two cents. So this is his first reaction uh, five days ago regarding the actual whole banning, and it, it was pretty pretty on point. Okay, there it is. And then he says, go two, three. Yeah, three. Shut up, Academics, man. Action uh, five days ago nobody, regarding the actual whole banning, and it nobody knocks your hustle, yeah. but just understand why places like Instagram doesn't want to see your flabby <laughs> booty, your fucking you know push up bra tits, and your fucking BBL every <laughs> single time they open the fucking app. Not everybody wants to see. Now some people do, and here's the thing, and here's the problem that. These OnlyFans chicks never address. There's liabilities with what you're doing. No, no company wants to say, hey, we're showing kids pornography. No company wants to do that. Also, no company wants to sit there and actually verify who, be honest, who tells Instagram their real age? Let's do a poll. Who tells Instagram their real age? So basically, all these companies are really in a limbo while they're not trying to hate on these chicks. These chicks think that these companies 
powered by men are trying to hate on them. No, nobody gives a fuck that you want to sell your pussy or you want to sell <laughs> the fact that you could stick a dildo, a remote, a banana, a cucumber, anything else you could uh, um, 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 stick in your snatch. Nobody gives a fuck. But you also got to understand that these companies that are allowing you to do that, they got their own shit going on. They don't want to be held liable for your bullshit. You get me? Now, That's to address the concerns of or, or, or the accusation because I keep hearing these things. Yo, they be hating sex workers. Well, Twitter is meant for conversation and for kids. It's not meant for sex workers. <laughs> that's the that's the main point. I hear all these people talking about oh they're hating on sex. Bro, nobody gives a fuck about y'all sex workers. But not every platform is meant for to deal with sex workers, right? Now, I'm going to get into this article a little bit because I'm going to explain that a little bit more. Because, you know, a lot of these chicks who think they're sucking dick on OnlyFans, they think it's equatable to somebody working at McDonald's. They actually think there's no fucking difference. They're just saying, oh, people want to see me and people don't want to see you. It's not that simple, right? So I see a lot of these people. They're fucking crying on on, on, on Twitter. And oh, my God. <laughs> That's true. They built, their, they built their whole company of me uploading videos of me getting fucked by every race every creed and every length of cock on earth now they don't want porn <laughs> yeah just like how you use your platform to promote your fucking yeast infected pussy yes <laughs> they built their fucking company off you getting fucked yes but now it's time for them to move on I'm gonna tell you why they're gonna move on. So this right? was this was yeah. his original so post, he, right? He so that, that we played the yeah. original. So, so this was, was his original reaction yeah. last week to uh, when they uh, got announced that they were gonna get rid of it. Yeah, you could go check out the whole video, but basically he's kind of describing why the company did what they did because yeah. obviously they gotta protect themselves because at the end of the day, man, it's business. Yeah, you're selling you're selling your thing online, whatever. It's cool, but hey, as a company, a business. Did he really release a reaction to uh, after? With not, them going back on it, yeah, no, but because that's not on, yet. That's on his YouTube channel, King of Academics. Okay, okay. So um, but he he broke it down in a in an objective manner. Yeah, pretty good. The whole whole live stream. But I just want to point out that point about the business wise, why they did what they did. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys. So <clears throat> so uh, so where do we go from here? So if you guys, if you guys don't know, and can we pull up the video just to show them that we t we had a full discussion about this, Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah. About OnlyFans. So uh, last week, right, we had uh, a couple of our our uh, trusted ladies. Uh, we had Nina Pineapple, uh, Daniela. Maya, aka Slow Jams, um, who uh, and Bianca, Bianca here, right? Uh, four four girls that we uh, really cool with chicks. Um, we broke it down. Um, and two of the girls actually on uh on the panel, Daniela and uh, Nina, Pineapple. are pretty successful in OnlyFans, guys. Uh, they do pretty well. Um, and the thing is, is that um Nina did um uh Nina does content, but she doesn't put any like nudes on there. It's like provocative workout stuff. And then uh, Daniela post bikini pictures so none of them post nudes and or uh sex scenes so um real talk they were not really in danger um yeah. because their content was an uh was Bor soft Bo enough it's borderline, borderline yeah spicy. where it wouldn't be but i i warned them i said listen what's going to happen probably and this is the video that we did uh we could um actually you can play a little bit yeah we could play a little bit let, let me go down to the timestamps skip, skip it yeah because i, see. Or, I uh, everyone gave their opinion and this we recorded this last week guys uh, shout out to Maya, Daniela, Bianca, and everybody. Um, okay, go to go to 132 Myron's prediction on OnlyFans because it was very accurate at uh 132, if you don't mind. Oh, wait, no, sorry. okay, so I have first I'll talk about what I predict for OnlyFans and then what I predict for the, the women that are on the platform. So, my prediction for OnlyFans, so, so we is, could go, uh, uh, Daniela, I agree with you, I think it's gonna go. crumble. Yeah. I, I personally think it's going to crumble because the thing with OnlyFans oh, is pause real quick, pause. that stigma. I, I ain't gonna lie, Daniela had it right too. Daniela actually predicted that they would that that if they get rid of it, they would crumble. Yeah. Um. So yeah. She, um. But I break it down further why why I think it's going to crumble. So we'll, we'll play the clip. Ma is never going to leave them because that is what OnlyFans is known for is for yeah. is for spicy content. It's basically like. A way to get direct access to your favorite female porn star, bro. I don't. It mm -hmm. is what it is. Yeah. That, that's real talk. That that's what it is, and um, that's what it's known for. That's what it's always been. And for those of you that just like you know, guys, OnlyFans has been around for years, for years, like 2016, 2017, and it's been known as like that spicy content place for a while. 
Yes. Are there content creators out there that give advice on making money, cooking, all that other stuff? Yes. But guess what? People are not going to go to OnlyFans to find that. So what's going to happen is they're going to only... go to YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even Batman. Cavill. Yeah. Bro, Batman right. Cavill has OnlyFans. I'm like, bro. Fair use. Google. I don't care. <laughs> I don't, Fair bro, use. I, I respect you, bro. But like to go to OnlyFans for content, I'm like, bro. I'm not gonna sign up for OnlyFans. Yeah, I it just has too. such a negative stigma on it, man. That yeah. people are just not gonna do it, yeah. and that's why, man, man. And guys, do us a favor. Smart, work, the, please like the video. Please like the video, guys. There you go. Smart businessman, Kevo fans. Kevo fans. Yep. And he's like, "Yo, I'm Website. gonna go on my own platform, make my own money. Yeah. And I don't have the negative stim stigma of OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? And here's the right. thing: he can get away with it because he's a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He has this like edgy vibe to him. Like, you know, they got him for scamming in the past. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to go on OnlyFans and I'm going to give you all this game on OnlyFans. He give can me, get away with give it. Me millions. Exactly. Yeah. But if you're like a guy, like a, a Graham Stephan or whatever, like a certain type of content creator that's squeaky clean, whatever, you can't go on OnlyFans, bro. Yeah. Like you just can't. And I get that they're trying to clean up the image now, but it's too far gone. I don't think it's going to work because uh, they made way too much money. Their revenue bit came from the sex industry. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how's it going to affect the women? So I think it's going to affect the women differently depending on how much money they earned. So like your friends that are making 150K, I know some of your friends that are like, you know, in music videos, connected socially, et cetera, whatever, blue checks, all that, they're going to be fine. Yes, mm -hmm. it's going to suck because what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to go to another platform. They're going to have to go to a Hubster or one of these other, you know, more, how do I say, spicy content oriented platforms, right? Uh, Patreon, I think, allows you to do it too. You just have to market as 18. 18 plus. Right. So you know, pause real quick, pause real quick. So guys, quick transition. Today's sponsor, Tej Hanley. If you guys don't want to get kicked off OnlyFans, make sure to have that really good skin. <laughs> uh, guys, shout out to our sponsor, Tej Hanley here. We always teach you guys about uh, becoming better as far as like hygiene-wise. Look good, look smell good, keep your skin clean, guys. Yo, if you guys are tired of paying to get a subscription for a girl's OnlyFans that doesn't even message you back... <laughs> You need to get that clear skin, okay? Now, personally, guys, um, I've been working with TJ Hanley. Well, I've been using it since 2018, way before I was a content creator, guys. Back when I was fucking still doing my Uncle Sam stuff back in the day, I was using this stuff in 2018. Uh, shout out to Teaching Men's Fashion. Yeah. He was the one that put me onto it. And then and Alex Costa, two really uh, pretty good fan YouTubers as far as like fashion goes. And yeah, dude, I've been using ever since then. And then when we became YouTube content creators, they're one of the first uh, oh, brands I actually reached out to myself to work with them because I actually use a product. So it's real easy for me to even talk about it because I use it. So this is a level three. This is what I've always used. I use a, it comes with a, with a stupid proof card. Cause if you're a little bit slower, you know, cause some of you guys are like, wait, what? how do I use it? Like, uh oh, retard alert. This is pretty much uh, stupid proof. Uh, it tells you exactly morning and night, right? With a step by step, you use face wash, right? First, then you use the scrub, right? To exfoliate that skin. Then you go ahead and you use the eye cream, right? Then you use the super serum. And then you use the either PM or AM moisturizer, depending on the time of day that you're doing it. You should be doing this twice per day. I do it typically. I'll be I keep it a stack with you guys. I only use it at night. I don't use it during the, during the day. But uh, this is really good for your skin, guys. I'm 31 years old. Look pretty good. Losing the hair, but not losing the glow of the skin. So, uh, dude, <laughs> yeah. it's definitely worth it. Fresh, I uh, put fresh on too. And Chris, shout out to Alpha M Man and Josh from uh, Teach Hanley. They're awesome guys over there. And yeah, real talk, man. I use a soap and I use a face wash because honestly, man. I don't wash my feet, but my face needs to be clean when I go on a date. <laughs> so that being said, man, clear skin. I smell better. I'm in the bed. It goes like, yo, like, what's that smell? It's Your T. Chanley. Oh, no. Set my feet. <laughs> 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 and yeah, man, it's an awesome product. And guys, it's easy to use. Real talk, man, I don't have a routine for my skincare, but this makes it super easy to use. It, all the instructions are right there. And we, we, we smell good and you look good. You feel better about, about yourself. So really, really good product. Yeah. Chris, what about you, bro? Yeah, man. Um, I use it uh, for the past what three months, and um, I've noticed my skin definitely has been clear, especially with the AM um uh the serum, and because it has like what up uh, that SPF forty or twenty? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, the, yeah, it has yeah it has some black. And in Chris, it. Yeah. I noticed too. I can see your your hairline a lot better now too. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I won't go in on that, but yeah, guys, uh, get to Tanley because um definitely, um I I know the the, the difference. Uh, with the scrub and um, you know, etc. <laughs> Yo, these dudes are always attacking you. you. You guys think it's bad on air? Yo, y'all need to see us like off camera in the vlogs, bro. Yo, they 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 argue over really weird shit, man. Like I'll I'll like come out and they'll be like arguing about Chris, bro. Why do you, why do you, why do you, 
like stupid shit like yo why do you drink so much orange juice like some shit like that i'm like what what hey, are you man. talking about bro hey like, you know what <laughs> look listen when you're around together as often as we are man it's like you just find things to talk about man it's you like, know what i'm saying <laughs> like like you know it's like yo, 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 like, yo, yo, yo y'all want to know something man i hate this nigga chris bro every time we go get sushi you know what this dude does yo hey, yo yo this nigga orders his lunch for the next day finesse oh, yo <laughs> For Nessa, bro, look, guys, look, we'll eat food right there and then at the spot. He's like, you know what? Let me get extra chicken here. Yeah, extra, uh, fried chicken. Let me, let me get a couple I'm spicy like, tuna rolls and some chicken I'm like, yakitori. I'm like, you can't eat all that shit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm no, taking it home. Yeah, not like, because you know why? Because I be hungry and I got a few bites. I'm like, you know what? The sake fills me up, and then a chicken, uh, 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 uh yakitori. yakitori. Yeah, mm. it's good as fuck. Yeah. So I was like, I'm full. I'm like, all right, I ordered too much. I get, I get it. If you notice, for the past twice, I've been there. I haven't really got any food to go, right? Hey, Amen. Yeah, that's because we called you on it, bro. You were, nah, doing, nah, you because... were doing it for weeks, bro. This dude was ordering his lunch when he was there. <laughs> well, listen. It's five. It's yeah. four in the morning. We're there eating the sushi. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Can I also get like two sushi rolls to yeah. go? And I'm like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> like, <what>? my you? <laughs> we're paying. Yeah, we're paying. Because hey, me and Fresh like circuit circle it. Like one night I'll pay, another night Fresh will pay, whatever it is. Yeah. And then this dude Chris always orders his lunch for the next day. I'm like, yo, what? What are you doing, bro? For no, <laughs> sir. <laughs> This dude oh, really man. is. This dude uh, really is a, a Miami dude, bro. Oh, Blanca, Blanca, man. Shout, <laughs> yo, shout out to Blanca, Blanca, by the way, man. Yeah, man. Shout, uh, shout out to Teach Hanley, man. That's a regular schedule program. Guys, so, guys, get on Teach Hanley. Don't be like Chris. There's a uh, <laughs> link below. You get a free to a toiletry bag with, with the with the link. And shout out to Teach Hanley, man. <laughs> yeah, use our and link, Chris, bro. And Chris's hairline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the regular schedule programming. Uh, all right, uh, listen to some of these super chats and then we'll continue on with the reaction. Let's uh, get it. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I mean, we love Chris, man. Yeah. Well, some of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just so y'all know, I bought Chris a gift that's going to be hilarious when you guys see it. And guys, don't worry. Uh, I, we're we're going to get Chris and Trey on camera. I got a new um, piece of equipment that is brand new. No one on the market has it yet. Uh oh. Um, and it's going to give us more cameras. So don't worry, guys. I'm always looking to improve the studio. It's just that I haven't been able to like get it set up because pretty much, guys, being real transparent with you guys, anytime we get a new piece of equipment that changes our setup, I, I what I do is I'll either A, set it up myself, stay up all night rewiring everything, or B, uh, I, me and Trey will do it together because uh, me and Trey are pretty much like the tech guys. So um, – I, I don't want to do it without Trey. I ain't going to count. <laughs> like, I do not want to do it without Trey. So that's why you guys haven't seen uh, Chris and Trey on the cameras yet because I have a new set, uh, new piece of equipment that I want to use. And uh, it's a pain in the ass to do it myself because I already know it's going to be an all-night thing, and I don't want to do it without Trey because yep. uh, Trey is my right-hand man when it comes to um, equipment and setting shit up. Royal, so anyway, Reese. Royal Reese. 20 bucks. Thanks for being honest with your viewers. A man confronts the situation, not run away. Stay encouraged, Myron, bro. Thank you so much, man. We ain't going to spread no hate, bro. Um, Amber Fuddles handcuffs. <laughs> Yo. Yo, now you know my real no <laughs> name. <laughs> uh, general book slash audio book recommendations for dudes other than Tomasi. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yeah. Um, I would say... Wait, but Unscripted, Don DeMarco. Uh, Don DeMarco. MJ DeMarco. Um, I want to give them... What else? But only for dating, right? Well, I don't know. I think it just means self-improvement in general. Oh. Uh, T. Harvard Ecker, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. Um, what else? Millionaire Fast Lane is also good. That one too. Um, um, it's just so many, bro. Set for Life by uh, Scott Trench from Bigger Bachelor Pad Economics from our boy Aaron Fucking Cleary. There you go. That's a great book. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Hold on. Shout out to Aaron Cleary, man. He's like he's like our Jewish dad. Shout out to our boy that we never had. Get this book, guys. Uh, Bachelor Pad Economics. It's a fantastic book. You know what I'm saying? I actually like. I, I read this book before I even knew Aaron, guys. Look so the title. Yeah. Uh, bachelor pad economics and then uh and then obviously you got the rational mail right here support our boy uh rollo tomasi and aaron cleary get yep. these books guys you know fantastic books to help you out um we wouldn't at, we wouldn't tell you guys to get them if we guys, didn't think they're helpful at the beginning but... of our career we read books to gain knowledge to apply in real life and when you, once you read the knowledge and you apply it you get the results man that's very important man so yeah and if you don't like books you can get audio books as well yep whatever you need and also go read our book from uh our boy lucario how to have sex with two women in a day boom shout out to lucario shout out to fucking lucario as well and miles cunningham and miles cunningham uh the bad boys okay um 10 bucks elon musk emperor of mars next time a guest says 50 50 relationships throw them a stuffed animal <laughs> cat say here's your cat oh <laughs> my god and then 10 bucks from zaddy uh 816 got, got my teeth. teeth thank you so much hey. man awesome, use our brother. code man fuck everybody else uh, Rian Alberto, 20 bucks a euro. Catching you live while in Germany. Big shout out to you guys and how you handle the Cloud Chasers, weaklings, and haters. Keep your, keep your heads up. I'll stay with you as I'm proud of you. 
Thank you so Thank much, you. bro. Thank we're you, not gonna we're not gonna drag anybody down, bro. Nope. We're just gonna keep doing our thing. Kevin Terrell, only fans collected the Infinity Stones in reverse the snap. Looks like the old business was way doesn't work anymore. Usually the banks and creditors word stands. Facts. Mm. Uh, C list. Uh, uh, we ten bucks new equipment. Is it Chris Sushi from the night before lunch cam? <laughs> 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 and then King, King Chris, Chris in the building. Thank you very much to all the loyal uh, fans and supporters of Fresh and Fit, and your continued support is well uh, appreciated at this point. Uh, such and such, uh, and some of their supporters just want to continue to spread hatred, division, and envy. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Shout yeah, out man. to King Chris, one of the day ones. Facts. And guys, you guys are not our fans. Hold on, let me correct this real quick. <laughs> you guys are not our fucking fans. You guys are our family. So, yep. Supporters, you know, that's man. why I always say uh, Fresh Fit Fam and supporters. We we are not better than I don't like the word fan. So yep. don't call yourselves a Fresh Fit fan. You guys are Fresh and Fit fucking family. Okay. Or supporters. Big difference. Or supporters. But I, I ain't never going to call none of y'all a fan, bro. Fuck that shit. Yep. Uh, Peter Pan. Uh, Peter, Peter, uh, I said, I do the same thing Chris does. It's a foodie thing. <laughs> Not sure why moderator timed me out. Not trying to hate or anything. Okay, uh, okay. Peter, Peter. And then finally, MK47, MK 20 bucks. The chat only does three things. Show love, hold someone accountable, or roast. In my opinion, the jokes rarely miss. This is the best chat in the world. I hope it never changes. Stop Bruh, the gap. Y'all are, are deadly, bro. bro. Last night show, bro. I can't stop laughing, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, that's the hardest person yo. Yeah, I didn't even bro. know what he was laughing at. Bro, I, I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing at, like, dude, someone said in the comments, they were like, please, I beg you, go next to Fresh. Look at the camera and smile. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? You're, yo, that's so, yo, that's funny, man. Stop the gap. Uh, selfish doctrine, 10 bucks. What meal prep service do you use? You mentioned you use meal prep when you showed us your spoon. <laughs> I do. Um, But guys, I use a local one here in Miami. It's called Meals for You. That's what I use. Yeah. But I suggest you guys always use a local brand because they're typically cheaper than like these uh these newer um sorry, these uh these like in, um nationwide brands like Icon Fresh, Meals or whatever. Those freshly, are good too. Yeah. Or Fresh, those are good too, but they tend to be a little bit more expensive because it's inter it's uh, uh national versus like a local one in your city, a little bit better prices. Uh okay, so uh so going back, uh let's continue playing that video. Uh so guys, uh, what we're playing here is uh our prediction. From what we thought OnlyFans was going to be, and this was a week ago, guys. My my prediction. So I predicted that it was way too much money from OnlyFans for them to, you know, stop it because, um, uh, because let's be honest here, OnlyFans. When you think of OnlyFans, what comes to mind? Spicy content. Yep. Nothing else. Uh oh, fifty bucks. It's the D Hulk, uh, eighty-eight. Showing uh, thanks for the credit info. Switching from debit to credit. Absolutely. You Smart, should never be using cash ever again or debit. And then twenty bucks. Thailand. Uh, uh, Fresh Fit Family shirts coming soon. You know what? Me and Chris work on that. Chris, let's go. play. Uh, let's go back and play that uh, the clip. <laughs> so I'm in the middle, guys, of explaining what I think is going to happen with uh, with OnlyFans. They're going to be able to drag their audience with them. If you're making 100 plus, pause real quick. Sorry. Yeah, you'll. So I'm breaking down the different levels of girls from OnlyFans that are going to be affected differently. Because make no mistake about it, guys. You the way you or the the amount of money you earn on OnlyFans is going to dictate your future. If you have to leave the platform. So I'm starting to break down the highest tier here, which is girls making like 100 bands a month, etc. Rolo's in the chat. Rational meal. Hey, shout out Lucy. to Rolo. Hey. Lucy. Hey. Lucy. Yo, Rolo's, Rolo's, Rolo's a, a Rolo, fucking man. real one, bro. Yep. He stood by us, man. He stood by us uh, in the storm. So, uh, okay. So we're, I'm breaking down the... um uh, the thing. Oh, DLC, oh, man. Shit. Our boy Don Lewis. Hey. I took a huge hit last year with family court, child support, lawyer fees. My credit dropped below 600. I swore off credit. Thanks for bringing me back to the real world. Got a new credit card today after watching y'all credits episode. No more debt cards, debit cards. Thanks. Listen, brothers. man. Yes. You're going to spend the money anyway. Might as well get points for it and get a, and raise your, your credit score as well. Might as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Might as well. <laughs> Yo, by the way, guys, just so you yeah. guys know, we're going to do an episode on the best cashback cards next week. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, guys, we Monday. did a vote. Everyone wanted cashback cards. So we're going to break it down for you guys in detail. The best cashback cards to get uh, that you should have in your wallet to make money back. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's keep playing the video. I'm talking about the highest tier of OnlyFans earners, and I'm going to work my way down. We'll be able to get back over, you know, 70, 80K over there and then build it back up. It is what it is. Just put people on another platform because you already have a loyal audience that's paying you this money anyway. The money shows it, right? <laughs> However, I think who this is going to hurt the most is the girls that are just getting by. If you're not making at least... Twenty to thirty thousand a month off of your OnlyFans, <laughs> it's going to be fairly difficult for you to um, to migrate over to another platform, restart again, and make uh, make enough money to like live at a certain lifestyle. Because let's be honest, most people want to make 
10K a month. If you want to hit that 10K a month, after OnlyFans goes, I would say you need to be making right now at least 50 because you got to automatically assume like most of your audience is not going to follow you over. Or if they do a small minority, the hardcore ones are going to follow you. Yeah. So you're going to need a lot of um, buffer room to be able to make that kind of money again. Fair so that's my, that's my predictions. Um, yeah, I have a question for you, but you're sure. talking about, you're talking about women that, that actually have like sex. On like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right? yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so, because other, because other girls, they, they stay. They, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. We post the same content. So, okay. So yeah, yeah. Now I'm talking about like the porn star stuff. Yeah, those yeah. Are, let's give it okay. a stack. Those are girls making the most money. Those are the girls. Yeah. The, yes, the girls that are smashing yeah. on camera are the ones that are make, making the most money. Yeah. Now. Okay. So, okay. Good point. So, I should have uh, clarified that because I was going to get to it, but you interrupted me. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's all good. Um, so with the with the porn stars that make a lot of money that have clout, they're going to be fine. They're just going to have to move to another platform, take a pay cut, but build it back up because they have a big social media. Just be able to, hey, I got a million followers on Instagram. Just follow me on Patreon now. Fuck uh, OnlyFans. They're going to go. Yeah. Now, for the girls that um, are on OnlyFans that kind of do similar to what you guys are doing where you're not necessarily having sex. But you're, um, you know, putting out maybe fitness content or you're putting, you know, sc- scantily clad photos, whatever it is. What what I foresee is this. As long as OnlyFans has because this is the thing that's that that's that's alarming. If you guys read the language, it was very ambiguous as to what sexually explicit is. So it depends. Like if they're going to go, well, a bikini is too much. Right. Or like if I can see your, the you know, the camel toe or something, that's too much. If they have it where it's like they mean only nudity. Y'all are good. Like you don't got to worry about anything. But if they're like, oh well, there's certain, you know, because the way the reason why they wrote it like that, it's very intelligent from the so lawyers. Vague. It's so ambiguous and vague, so it lets them reserve the right to just always tell you, oh, look at our guidelines. Uh, this goes against community guidelines because it's uh sexually explicit mm-hmm. to some degree. So I would say I I want to see how the first few months go, what they're banning, what they're not banning, and then that's going to give a more accurate representation of the girls that don't put the nudity and spicy content because. I foresee that this is they're just trying to get rid of what they're doing is they're working in layers here. Number one, get rid of the hardcore stuff now, mm-hmm. right? Then they're gonna work on the soft core stuff. Let's get rid of that now. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how sales go and everything else like that. I think once they get rid of the h- hardcore porn stars, they're gonna start to think twice. And I don't think they're gonna come after you guys. But th- there's still that possibility because they're gonna lose so much goddamn I, revenue I from losing the hardcore like girls. That. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Cause I read that very closely and I was like, yeah, they're trying to reserve the right to just kick you off for anything yeah so like that's instagram what i'm saying can. exactly like right, instagram can. exactly like sometimes yeah so that that's and they didn't even make it to step one yeah because that's what i predicted that they were going to have layers of removing people but now it's very obvious that they can't even afford to remove those girls uh at the top level because the girls the people that make the most money for only fans are the big spicy stars that have like you know a, a pretty much a brand a big, of me a big following a big following and those are the girls making 100 dollars a month Etc. And guys, you guys want to know the real reason why OnlyFans doesn't want to get rid of it? <laughs> OnlyFans takes 20%. Yep. So okay. I'm, imagine all the girls making minimum 150k a month. Let's say we let's say we did, did the numbers, right? Yeah. Let's say we did 10,000 people. Yep. Right? So 10,000 by 150k. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! It's we suck at math, guys. By the way, Wait, hold on. Fresh even stutters when he types the numbers in. He I, hit three twice. I, th- I think it's, <laughs> I think it's too big. And then we got what's up, P- Patea? A hundred, uh, one dollar super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. that. One point five mil. One point, yeah, like yeah. And then they're gonna get twenty percent of that, bro. Like it, they, they're literally guys. You, um, all these subscription services, um, OnlyFans, Patreon, etc. These guys are taking. Yeah, see now the chat's surprised, guys. Yeah, they yeah. can't afford to get rid of these these spicy stars, bro, because. No one goes to OnlyFans to put out um, content, right? Like, uh, like exclusive content. They go to Patreon, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna go to to OnlyFans to do that. OnlyFans already has a, a rep as being a, a spicy site, essentially. That's what it is, dude. They're the online pimping of today. Facts, literally, bro. There's a couple guys like we use an example of Bandman Kevil, right? Shout out to him. He came on the episode. You know why Bandman Kevil gets away with using uh, OnlyFans because he's already kind of controversial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was arrested before by the FBI for um for fraud, whatever, if for what whatever it is. So him being on OnlyFans only kind of plays into the put, uh, plays into that that image because his thing is like he's a reformed uh, scammer that's teaching you guys now how to finesse, which I think is a brilliant brand idea, by the Smart, way. Man. Uh, and he teaches guys how to make money and finesse legally now. Yeah. So a guy like him being on OnlyFans makes, makes sense. sense. But like 
You ain't gonna see like let's look at a clean YouTuber that talks about money. Graham Stephan. You th- you guys you think you're gonna see Graham Stephan on fucking OnlyFans? Meet Kevin. You know? Hell no. You think you're gonna see Robert Kiyosaki on OnlyFans? Nope. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see Grant Cardone on OnlyFans? Hell fucking no. Fresh. Strat- some of this water fresh. Stratman? You know? Huh? Big dog plate, huh? No, I was that fresh. Sell me this water. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Big oh. dog plate became a uh, member. Thank you so much for joining the Fresh Thank Smith you, man. fam. You know, so uh so yeah, so you're never gonna see these types of guys on there, guys. So it is what it is. So OnlyFans isn't stupid, but 20% guys. And then uh and then I was warning like Danielle and, and Nina, since they do softcore stuff and they're just like, you know, they just dress dress scantily clad or work out whatever it is on their stuff, they'll be fine. They're not gonna get kicked out in the first wave with the P stars, but they would be following next if OnlyFans was serious about getting rid of explicit content. That's why if you read the original uh, uh um announcement they made. They left the, what constitutes as sexually explicit content. And they left it extremely vague, vague, uh, and that's what so many companies do. You look at any social media company, guys. Look at the terms of use for YouTube, Instagram, etc. They always write it in a way where it's open to interpretation, where they can kind of finesse and kick you off if you piss them off on the platform. Because real talk, guys, no one's really entitled to a platform, uh, so they need to keep it as ambiguous as possible so they don't get sued. There you go. What's what's your take on this, Fresh? Honestly, man. Like, once again, we said in that video, if you go back a little bit earlier, that the money that they're going to make from this, um, sorry, lose, lose from this, this mistake will be bad because, once again, it's a huge shift to the revenue. And at the end of the day, man, that built the platform with the stigma. So, overall, I think they made a good choice business-wise. Now, some people left the platform, obviously, because they were kind of preparing for this uh, backlash. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they made a good choice business-wise because that's what they're known for. That's the stigma behind their brand. And to take away that um, content to rebrand yourself is going to be really hard because people know, hey, if I go to OnlyFans, I'm going to see spicy content. Versus if I go to Patreon, it's going to be business advice or like, you know, a niche advice regarding cooking, cleaning. The point is, is that like that platform, the stigma behind it is spicy content. And unfortunately, that's what they uh, played into, na- you know, into the, into the uh, narrative. So that's what it really is. That being said, though, um, regarding OnlyFans girls, I'm sure they're going to be happy now because, you know, the platform is going to be safe. Uh, but I think they're going to think twice about having that as their only, only stream of income because now if that goes away, then they lose their income. So I think it might have shaken up some of the girls to say, you know what, maybe now it's time for me to prepare investing in other assets other than, you know, OnlyFans because if they take take away OnlyFans, I'm done for. And people were, say, were scared online saying, oh my God, how can I take it away? And if you have other businesses, like Daniela has businesses, she was fine, good to go, Anina as well. So I would just say it made a splash into reality for them at the same time but what the who is that hey i need you guys to like the video right now because you guys are the most beautiful right now you guys like the video right now you like the video i'm going to be happy oh yeah 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 oh Yeah, I can't see anything. Right, I got I, a gun. I, 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 I got a gun. What the? Bro, why you? You look a nerd, bro. Bro, what? Yo, where's the nunchucks? Oh. Uh, we, we returned them, remember? They, they were on sale, but we didn't want to... Yeah. Fuck, man, we need all the weapons we can get right now! Let's go, bro! What? That's not even the right skin! Oh, shit! Stop! Yo! All right, get the word! What's gonna happen to you niggas if you don't like the goddamn video right now? Yeah, right now! Right? Oh, we got no... Oh, oh, shit! Okay. Oh, shit! Yeah! Yeah, we got one of them trucks! <laughs> what? Check this out! If y'all don't like the video, this is what will happen to you, all right? Ta! Oh shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Look at this guy, man. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Where's the board? Okay, I got it right here. Shit! Oh. Man, stick your sword, bro. All right, stick your sword, bro. Okay, you ready? Ready. This is gonna happen to you if you don't like the goddamn video. Okay, okay, great. All right. Bro. 
I swear to God, bro, my balls are freaking clear of pain. Don't hit me with my, my balls, bro. All right, uh, listen, I'm putting the glasses on so I don't miss this time. Uh, just so you know. All right, I'm not going to lie. I haven't practiced in a while, but I got the glasses so I can see what's going on this time. All right, you ready? Let's do this. This one's going to be a video. We don't want video. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, oh, you missed! Ah, you missed! Ah. Do it again! Do it again! You missed! Do it again! You missed, bro! Do it again! Do it again! Like the goddamn video! I missed the kick! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> like the video. We had 3.7k likes. Get us to 4,000, guys, man, because uh, Fresh's uh, body can't take any more of this. God damn it, bro. Man, I have no kids, bro. Thanks to you, bro. I'm sterile. Well, we know I can't do my, I can't use those ninja skills next time we get invaded. <laughs> Yo, who was it? Did I just watch Naruto versus Sasuke? I think I'll be Naruto. He'll be Sasuke. Oh man! All right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um. So, um. Yeah, guys. So anyway, to wrap up, that's what I see is gonna happen with OnlyFans. Now, here's another thing that I think is gonna happen. That's gonna be an unintended consequence. Instagram is going to double down on if you put OnlyFans in your description. Mm. I think they're going to like get like, if you put put it in your description, they're going to be like extra like, nah, get the hell out of here. Mm. Because Instagram is trying to compete with YouTube and they're trying to um, turn Instagram into like where you can like sell merch and all other shit on the Instagram store. Instagram wants all the revenue, bro. Yeah. They, want, they want everything. Yeah. Like, so. it, it, well, yeah, Instagram is not happy if you use anything that like, if you use like a hubster, only fans any link that promotes some kind of like pornography they're gonna they're gonna fuck with your shit and even if you put scantily clad photos on there like instagram is really starting to dub uh buckle down on girls that use use it to like promote like sex work bro they're banning you having stories of pictures of like spicy content itself like pictures of like you know in an art museum a picture of a sculpture uh -huh. they, they ban they uh, delete those videos Really? Yeah, you, you can get you show like a nude sculpture. They'll, they'll... yeah, man. They, they're they're serious, bro. Damn. Okay. Super chats. Okay. Uh, remember, MD Amen. Hey, welcome Spoken to the brother fan, bro. Appreciate you, it, man. And then we got uh, okay. <laughs> Amber Amber Message with uh, Hart Allen said, uh, dude, in your position, should tone down the mode four. Mode four is for debates on the show only. When hitting on girls, don't mix up mode four with mode one. I'm not ARC. Yeah, well, that's that's fine. Uh, Wayne. Wayne. Uh, OF couldn't find an investor that would make up the money gap of losing the spicy cut they make. Bam, right there. That could be true. Right there, Wayne. That's a big one right there. Because remember, guys, they've been looking for investors for months now. And I and I guarantee you, them announcing it on the internet, they've been doing it for the better part of a year. And people just said, nah, we ain't going to do it. And then they might have found somebody. Hey, we're going to get rid of the prawn. They did the numbers, how much money they would lose. No. And I guarantee you a sizable amount of content creators that make money for them left. And they said, okay, if we actually go through with this, we're going to lose even more. You know what I'm saying? Because what OnlyFans doesn't realize is they're dependent upon their content creators. They're, they're the ones thinking like, no, our platform is going to survive without y'all. No, nope. you ain't. No, you ain't. And I called it. You guys, it, be tough. their reputation is too far gone as a, as a pornography site for them to be able to now make it clean. Like, yo, no one with a, with a good reputation is going to come to y'all. Like I just mentioned it. No one like, like a clean... A clean image YouTuber, like a Graham staff or whatever, these big guys, they're not going to go on OnlyFans because it's forever tainted. Yeah, you pay, guys have been, what, five, six years as a as a prawn site? It ain't going to work. Um, so, yeah, guys, please do us a favor and like the video. There's 4,000 of you guys in here right now. Mario, you good? Out here looking like a 30-year-old Naruto. Bro, <laughs> uh, clearly you guys can see I haven't been in a dojo practicing. First of all, supporter for life. Much respect to Myron for telling his past. Frank Castle is Frank Castle in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Literally. Yeah. Um, okay, right, yeah, we got, okay, so guys, we got a show tonight with some girls as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, so check, check, check that out. Uh, follow Myron, unplug three, three T's, follow me, Fresh Prince CEO, follow Chris, Ernst Parkson, 
Trade Talk Sports, and see you guys uh, in a bit. Uh, okay, and then Isaiah, Daniel, last super chat. Did y'all know that the amount of women who watch adult videos is on the rise? Also, they are the most likely to search for hardcore stuff. Just watch this and verify it. Keep up the good work. Yeah, go. some girls do watch prawn, but dude, it's such a small minority. Yeah, it's, that it's like mainly guys. Yeah, it's uh, bro. If if they if if the prawn if industry if guys stop paying for for that stuff. It would crash within a day. Yep. It would literally because women don't pay for it, bro. A lot of them have like an ego. Girls don't even want to pay for their own drinks if we're gonna keep it a thousand. You really think they're gonna pay to watch do, uh, another girl get slammed? Hell no. Yep. They'll do it themselves. Um, okay, cool. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. We'll catch you guys here in uh, in a little bit. Bye. Peace.